Hello. Right. We've got the uh, little 65mm brushless whoop, which is 2S and 1S capable, which I've built from a kit from EXT Exinti. I'll leave a link below. But basically, it allows you to choose, pick and choose for a fixed price of $80 at the moment. It's $90 normally, I think, but probably always offers. But you can choose the motors and the FC for different ones if you want. It comes with uh, 0603, 0603 motors and a 1S FC, all in one FC. But uh, you just request that you want different motors or the different FC. And I requested the F4 V2 uh, Crazy B FC. So that will take 1S, 2S or 3S. Um, obviously 3S isn't really on the cards for a 65mm whoop, but it could be interesting. And 0802 19,000 kV motors I've put on this one. Which means that it will work very well on 1S. Check my other videos, I've got it 1S and 2S videos. And it's got plenty of power on 1S. And certainly good enough for indoors and works outside pretty well too. Still got to do loops and rolls and tricks and stuff. But on 2S it's uh, almost as fast as the Mobula. Probably as fast. But the Mobula lasts a little bit longer in the air. For the same 250mAh batteries I get about two and a half, maybe three minutes on this one. Whereas the Mobula I get three, maybe three and a half minutes. So that's the difference. It's got the EOS 2 Caddox camera on there which you can see the bits of foam I put there and there. That's because it's very sensitive to vibrations. I did the same on the on my trash can build. Um, still a little bit of vibrations there. But the picture on the camera is very bright and clear. And uh, yeah, better than the Mobula 7. You can see where you're going very, very clearly. So that's the advantage of that camera. The disadvantage is it's a bit weighty. You're talking with the canopy is about eight grams, whereas if you put something like the BS2, AKK BS2, uh, that only weighs three and a half grams, I think, something like that. So, uh, yeah, this one back here, that's a silver, silver X build. So that's brushless, that's a 2S brushless silver X build built with a, with a Beta FPV Lite FC. Um, four in one speed controller and some 10,000 kV motors. That's that's worked out really quite well. That flies pretty well. And uh, videos on that. But yeah, the main thing was this one. So yeah, it's uh, overall very pleased with it. The whole kit came plug and play, so I didn't have to touch the soldering iron on it at all. Um, to get 2S, I made an adapter to take two to one. So. Because I thought, well, I'll probably mostly fly it on 1S indoors because I've got this for outside for 2S. But actually, whilst I've been flying it out dials on 2S, it, it's been quite good. I quite enjoyed it. So, yeah, I'm, I might change that to 2S. I don't know. Yeah, the only other 65mm 2S whoop that I have is the 65X, the Beta 65X, um, which is a lot more money. And the camera is not good in dark areas, and it's heavier. Even with the rubbishy sort of camera on there, that's still 27, 28 grams. Whereas this one is 26 grams with that on there. You could probably get that down to 24 grams with if I put the BS2 camera on there. But yeah, that is um, is what it is, really. So I really quite like the picture from it. So all the motors just screw in, comes as a kit in a box. The frame was slightly bowed, but that was, I just put that in boiling water and it popped straight back to normal shape and then it was fine. So that's a little tip for you. Set it up in beta flight, the board, and then plugged it all in. I find it easier to do that. Now the, uh, the motors all plug in. The receiver, I got the FR Sky FCC one, so the receiver's built in, got a little antenna there. Obviously you can get whatever, whatever version you want. And uh, 
the Cadex camera that was all wired up, just had to be plugged in and screwed into place. Everything screwed into place on these little grommets in there. That was a little bit fiddly. The trick I found to that was to sellotape the VTX, the video transmitter. I sellotape that in place onto the front, onto the canopy. I can't think of my words. The canopy. I sellotape that in place onto my canopy and then I put it on top of there and put the screws through. Otherwise it moves around too much and pretty difficult to do. So apart from that, everything else was dead simple. And like I say, for a 65mm whoop on 2S, it's really nice because it's got loads of power and a very clear picture. So it's very good. I would definitely recommend getting one. And uh, if you can, get one on this spec with the 19,000 kV motors and the V2 F4 board because there's no extra money and you're getting better components. So, yeah, not much else to say about it. So check out the other videos if you want to see it flying. It's, uh, it's a nice little thing. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Um, yeah, what's my next project? Well, I like to build and do different things. So the next thing I'm building is a Beta 85X on Silverx Silverware. So I'm currently building that on the workshop at the moment. So stay tuned for that. And that's, uh, that should be good. See how that goes. That's on 8,000 kV. So I built this on 8,000 kV originally and it didn't have enough power for me. So I built it again on 10,000 kV. So I've got the 8,000 kV motors ready to go um, somewhere else. So I thought, well, let's get an 85X frame and put it in there. So that's the next one to come up. We'll see how that works out. So yeah. But uh, yeah, as you can see, compared to the Mobula 7, it's quite a bit smaller. So more indoors, tight gaps are flyable with this than the Mobulus 7. So that's the, that's the main advantage is that it's smaller. Obviously the camera on this is better than the Mobulus 7. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, it's, you know, picture's going to be similar to the trash can because it's the same camera, only just very much smaller and a bit lighter. Okay, so, yeah. Range is, range is okay, same as any of the built-in receivers. Obviously, if you put an external receiver in there with an XM on there, you'd get further. But I like to fly close proximity, so I, I never really go that far anyway. Um, yeah, I'll put a link to below, and you can go and watch the other videos of it flying and make your own mind up. The only thing that's broken is these little struts underneath the battery or on top of the battery when it's that way on top when it's that way underneath they broke i think when i did a bit of a hard landing i've had a few crashes that's the only thing that broke but that i just fixed with super glue back on there and um that's been good i actually made it adding the super glue made it, i made it a little bit tighter because it was a little bit loose and there was a bit of jello on the picture because the batteries were rattling around as well, as well as these bits. So after I did that, the, the jello has gone away now and it's, it's much clearer, much better picture. So, yeah. OK, um, thanks very much. Like, subscribe if you want. If you don't, don't. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers and bye.